hello to all my beautiful capricorns out there and welcome to my channel rosology i hope this video finds you blessed and in amazing spirits and if not then i hope this video brings you some strength love and support so this video is for all of my capricorns that is sun moon rising even venus and in this reading i'm going to be offering you the energetic forecast for the month of july so before i get to your reading i do want to mention some major things happening within the cosmos we have two eclipses happening a total solar eclipse took place this past new moon in cancer on july 2nd and we have a partial lunar eclipse um, coming up on july 16th here and mercury is going retrograde july 7th and shortly after the very next day on july 8th we have we have Chiron, the wounded healer going retrograde. So there's a lot of focus here on healing old karmic issues, wounds, traumas, and other suppressed emotions. And this is all happening within cancer energy. So this is all about aligning the ego with our emotional being or bringing the subconscious and conscious together to illuminate our true feelings. So this is going to be a very intense month for everyone. Collectively, we're all being presented with this amazing opportunity to finally pay homage to the unconscious and subconscious, which is where all of our uh, suppressed and buried feelings lie so this is a very auspicious time and a time for profound healing and a time where the universe and spirit is really urging us to finally take note and really listen to our soul so we can feed it properly um, and it's interesting too because last week during my meditation session I heard the words I wear my pain like skin and with this universal consciousness being tuned into this feeling of being ready to release this baggage of hurt pain and disappointments it makes a lot of sense and I saw it in many of the readings that I did for this month as well as I've really been feeling with this um, I've really been dealing with this energy very intensely over the uh, last about two three weeks um or so now uh but definitely over the last week i've definitely been feeling this energy very very strongly so i'm excited to get to you guys's reading and to bring you some strength and encouragement for the month because no matter what the universe throws at us just remember it's because you are strong enough to take it and don't ever forget just how strong and capable you truly are because the universe never puts anything on us that we cannot uh take or bear okay so you guys know me i always like to issue the disclaimer that this is a general reading for all of my Capricorns out there. So for this reading to resonate with your spirit, it's important to be intuitively connected. That the way we can do this reading together and to help you guys trigger your own psychic abilities, I'm going to be offering a 20 second meditation. So if you want to get those intuitive juices flowing, go on ahead and get into a nice relaxed space and we'll begin that meditation right now. so hopefully that meditation was enough time for you guys to get intuitively synced in into this reading if not feel free to pause the video don't forget to check out your moon rising and venus sign videos that i've linked down below in the description box for you guys i've also put all the information with major dates happening this month in the description so you can check that out again thank you all so much for being here with me today of all the places you could be right now i'm honored to have you with me so let's go ahead and check out this energetic forecast for july for all of my capricorns all right capricorn so we're going to get started with this card all the way over here on the left and this card is representative of the challenges for the month of july so like i was saying this is just the energetic forecast for the month of july this is not going to tell you exactly what's going to happen it's just going to tell you the energy that you're going to be dealing with for the month of july so this is the challenges let's go ahead and take a look Okay, so we have the seven of wands. All right, Capricorn. So I'm seeing your challenges for the month is going to be you separating yourself from the drama, not getting caught up or swept up into other people's lives and issues. You're going to want to you're going to want so badly to just kind of distance yourself from from anyone and anything that doesn't uplift, motivate, inspire or support your greatest and highest potential. And it's going to seem as if everyone or majority of the people around you are going to seem as if the only thing that they're bringing to your life is maybe negativity or um, negative energy or drama. You may just feel your energy deplete being around certain individuals or environments. I'm even seeing you being more critical about what you're consuming. So many of my Capricorns 
may even be on some sort of a health kick or diet or exercise regimen for the month of July. Um, but I'm seeing your challenge here or, or your major challenge here is going to be maintaining your energy, whatever that may be or whatever you want your energy to be um, in the midst of an environment that can't and won't support the energy and or you're trying to maintain, if that made sense. Hopefully it did kind of a run on sentence there. <laughs> um, but do not under any circumstances given to a low vibrational situation or person or interaction. This month is going to show my Capricorns just how powerful you are, where after this month, you're going to be able to discern or clearly see when someone is just simply trying to steal your energy versus someone or something that really needs assistance. You're going to come to a point in July after so much drama that you become numb to it. And not in a bad way where you're in like denial, but in a way where you're where you have separated yourself from low vibing people, energies and situations, you'll almost start to laugh at certain issues because I can kind of see my Capricorns being, for instance, like, oh, I'm not going to give in to you. Like you can't affect me. Only I can allow you in to affect me. You're not worthy of my energy. And you'll just kind of glide through this month with that type of um, attitude because July seems very chaotic to me for my Capricorns. And I'm a Capricorn rising, so I'm not, I'm not too happy about this. Uh, about this energy either but as long as you can see someone or something for who they are this chaos cannot and will not even come close to touching you i'm definitely seeing that for sure so let's go ahead and get to this next card over here this card is representative of the blessings for the month of july so let's see what we can see here so we have the emperor in reverse. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot more freedom for my Capricorns in the month of July. And I believe that that liberated feeling is going to come from you realizing the seven of wands energy over here. Because the seven of wands in the Rider Waite shows a man fighting off six wands on his own. And he was completely unprepared for this fight. He didn't see these problems, enemies, drama, or challenges coming. Which is why he has on two different shoes. If you've ever taken a very close look at that card. Because he responded or was... Um, alerted too late to this fight. So as long as you remain in your own space, which in other words, I'm saying, if you stay focused on only your aura and energy, you won't internalize everything going on because you won't be drinking the Kool-Aid, for instance, <laughs> or consuming energy that's not good or meant for you in the first place. So I'm seeing a free bird here that has learned to fly by simply surrendering, by allowing the things that usually affect you to just roll right off of your back. You don't need or you don't have to deal with everything or anything the only thing you need to be responsible or accountable for is your own well-being and if that means separating from certain people places habits or behaviors and so be it or once you embrace that sentiment of i'm only responsible for myself i'm telling you you will soar straight to the top you're going to be able to manifest very easily for july as well i'm seeing as long as you just kind of um kind of master that feeling of staying in your own bubble, staying in your own space. You just have to be choosy about who and what you are allowing into your sacred space, aka your life and energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this next card, which is representative of your overall energy for the month of July. All right, eight of wands in reverse. Okay, so the overall energy for the month is like I said, is is um it's going to feel or seem pretty chaotic. It's going to seem like most of the people and things around you are displaced, like they're confused or disoriented by whatever is going on in their world. And because we're all going to be susceptible to this displaced feeling and brain fog, thanks to Mercury retrograde and the two eclipses happening this month, uh, it's going to be important to flow with this energy. And that's what I was saying with the seven of wands key over here is that or uh, card over here is that um, you don't have to involve yourself in what's happening around you. Just stay in your own bubble or your own world and allow things to work themselves out. This is not a time for my Capricorns to do. This is a time to receive, allowing things to unfold as they will. So this is going to be a month that feels like you're walking through sand almost or like you're walking in a place you've never been before because of Mercury retrograde. You may feel like something is holding you back or tripping you up. That's because the situation... Um, thing or person does not require your energy and that'll be one of your main signs from the universe to not exert yourself this month because you are not needed in this situation it has already worked its own self out it's just difficult to see for the time being but that's just because the dust hasn't settled yet 
There could also be a lot of reflection on the past on this month. Just observe, don't judge. And I know it's difficult for my Capricorns being ruled by Father Saturn. Um, you're used to being really hard on yourself and that's what makes you guys so great. And that's what pushes you to success is your own willingness to be as real as possible with yourself. But like I was saying, the dust hasn't settled yet. So don't do much, just allow because you're not um, seeing what's actually there okay so let's go ahead and get to this very last tarot card over here and this is the message for the month so let's see okay and we have the king of swords all right yeah exactly so the king of swords only rules from his throne in a peaceful environment because he wants maximum clarity before he acts or makes a decision this card here is another call to wait for the dust to settle and another message i'm getting here is don't make uh, too important of a decision or anything that could have long-term effects on your life in this month of July. Like I was saying, this king, he only makes his move when he can clearly see everything for what it truly is. So if anything feels murky, just wait until things clear up for you because they will. I'm seeing so much clarity being given to you by the third or fourth week in July that is going to change everything for you. The information that you receive, expect to learn things about yourself, life, others, and spirituality by the end of July. Things are going to seem so insanely clear for you. And that's just going to unlock even more of your spiritual abilities and more of your manifesting um, capabilities as well. So this is a very profound month for your future Capricorn. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to you guys' oracle cards and see what it is that we're seeing here. The very first one look at that luck is on your side new moon and sagittarius exactly you just may not be able to see or sense it just yet um this month but once things clear up and the dust settles you will be able to clearly see just how much the universe has at your back another reason um things could also be really chaotic this month is because the universe is trying to shed a light on what is and isn't supporting your greatest and highest potential okay the very next card that we have is look at the big bigger picture full moon and sagittarius so both of these cards are dealing with uh, sagittarius moons which is very interesting but um yeah i'm i i can definitely see that you know looking at the bigger picture it's definitely going to be very important for my capricorns to remember in july that the universe is so extremely intelligent that when the universe is conducting its own course of events it seems to us very crazy sometimes or chaotic but it's just rearranging energy to clear the path that's the bigger picture here it's happening for you not to you okay and the very last card that we have for my capricorns is life restored priestess of the phoenix yes you are a phoenix rising like it says here this key here talks all about bringing the message that trauma endings struggle or apparent defeat is not the end of your story because it is not you we are not our life experiences what appears to be a closed door can sometimes be the forces of the ancient feminine power flowing into new pathways pulling energy away from old forms so they can transition into new forms after so much numbness and pain or heartbreak and betrayal life is flowing back to you now receive it and allow the past is over it's been over. The dust is starting to settle this month. Your rebirth is fast approaching. Just receive it and allow. This is beautiful, Capricorn. Like, uh, this is such an amazing reading. Uh, so I'm, I'm just really seeing like a lot of uh, potential here for really deep, profound healing. So with the universe offering us this opportunity to really heal these old wounds that maybe we've neglected or haven't really acknowledged, um, this is an opportunity that we really need to jump on because in order for us to, to transition into our future, we have to cut the ties of the past because the ties of the past are too heavy. It's like a huge anchor, very heavy anchor that we're carrying around. And for us to really progress into our future we need to be able to move we need to be able to flow and in order to be able to flow we have to be lightweight and when we're carrying around this old painful energy that's very heavy 
dense energy that has to be released in order for us to flow and, and in order for us to move and to flow and to progress okay so this is all that i'm saying for my capricorns but thank you guys so much for tuning in i pray that this reading brought you guys some strength and encouragement for the month of july but either which way you guys got this you guys can handle this we're gonna get through this that's all that you need to really know at the end of the day is that you got this you are powerful you are protected and you got this okay so thank you guys again so much for visiting me hopefully you guys come back to visit me sometime soon and i'll be back next time all right bye guys